Hello all, welcome back to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on the SQL coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to start from the beginning of the playlist. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to Arcade, Databases, and then we left off in this When Was It The Case section on number 33, Ordering Emails. So you started to receive a lot of emails every day and you decided to sort them in order to make it quicker to navigate through them. Information about your emails is stored in a table emails which has the following structure. So there's an ID for a unique ID of the email, email title, and the size of the email. You decide to sort all the emails by their body sizes in descending order because you think that the bigger an email is, the more important it is. However, you don't like having the sizes written in bytes because you are usually too large and don't make much sense. You want them to be written in kilobytes and megabytes. So a kilobyte is 2 to the 10 bytes and a megabyte is 2 to the 20th bytes. And they want those rounded down if necessary. For example, this is equal to 20 megabytes and this uh, number, uh, so the results should be rounded down to 20 megabytes. Okay, so it's 20 megabytes and this number of bytes. Given the table emails, build a table as follows. Uh, the resulting table should have the column ID, email title, and short size, and should be sorted in descending order by the initial sizes of the email. It is guaranteed that all the emails are of unique sizes, so there will be no ties. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You've got just an ID. Uh, the title of the email and then the size. And the output they want is to take that and put it to megabytes or kilobytes based on the size of the file and then order them descending uh, by their sizes. All right. So first thing we're going to do is select. So the columns that we need, we need the ID field, which is just ID. doesn't like my indentation. Alright, so we're going to do the ID and we're going to do the email title as they are. And then for the short size, we're going to use a case statement uh, to figure out first whether it's either a megabit ty type size or a kilobit size. And if it's zero, then we'll just put uh, zero. Alright. So we're going to do case, and then when the size is greater than or equal to, so we look, they gave us what a megabyte is defined as, and here one megabyte is 2 to the 20th bytes, so when it's greater than or equal to, we're going to use the power function. So you put in the base number and the power you want to bring it to, so 20. So this is 2 to the 20th power. And when that's the case, uh, the format that they want is rounded down number and then megabytes. So we're going to concat. We're going to concat the, and to round it down we're going to use this floor function and then we're going to do the size divided by, again, this power 2 to the 20th. So that's the megabytes rounded down. And then we're going to have to concatenate that with the string megabytes. All right. So there's that section. And then when, we'll just copy and paste this to give us this and then this was 2 to the 10th is a kilobyte and then we just have to change this to kilobyte and we have to change this to the 10th power here. All right and then if these conditions aren't correct then we're going to round down to zero kilobytes and we'll put end here and 
this is going to be called short size. All right, so that's our select statement. From is very simple, we just need the table name. So it's emails. And then we need to order it by. And we're going to order it by size and descending. And then we need a semicolon at the end to signify the end of that select statement. Let's run that to see if we didn't make any mistakes. Looks like we did somehow. So our output is this, and the requested output is this. So how are we different here? OK, so we, I didn't put a space there. So looks like everything else is correct. I just need to put a space here and here. All right, I'll run that. And now we got the correct answer. All right, so learned a couple of things. We learned the power function here. Uh, we use the concat with the floor in order to put together the size, uh, the size and either a megabyte or kilobyte definition to it. And then using the case statement for all of this. So hope you, hopefully you guys were able to follow along with that. And I hope you join me for future, future videos. Thank you very much.